The history of slavery and emancipation has a strong transnational dimension. In chapter 11, you write that in the first four decades of the 19th century, slavery was abolished through most of Spanish America and the British Empire. What impact did these emancipations have on the end of slavery in the United States? Well, slavery, of course, was a global institution. It existed in Africa, it existed in the Middle East, it, and of course it was a Western Hemisphere institution. It existed all up and down North and South America and in the Caribbean. And so the abolition of slavery in the first part of the 19th century in the Spanish uh, areas, which after, the, after they became independent, they set in motion the abolition of slavery. And of course the British abolished slavery in the 1830s in their colonies in the Caribbean. Uh, this had a tremendous effect in the United States. It, uh, slave owners began to feel that they were a, a shrinking minority, even though slavery in the United States was by far the largest slave system in the Western Hemisphere. Still, it was becoming more and more isolated as slavery is abolished in other places. And the abolition of slavery in these other places, first of all, created a precedent for how slavery might be abolished here. It was generally done in a gradual manner not just in, a, in, in an immediate act, although in the British uh, colonies it only took about five years to abolish it. Uh, in Spanish America it was through these very long gradual processes of emancipation. And so many people in the United States, including Abraham Lincoln, uh, for many years thought that this gradual method was probably the best. It was a peaceful method. It led to less disruption of the society. And that's how the United States should get rid of slavery, over a long, slow uh, period of abolition. Of course, it didn't work out that way in this country. But uh, that model affected how Americans began to think of the possibility of getting rid of slavery. On the other hand, um, it also stimulated a big debate in the United States. What was the consequence of emancipation in these other places? Many Southern slave owners said, you know, it was a failure. Uh, sugar production fell in the West Indies after slavery because the slaves wanted to grow, the former slaves wanted to grow food for themselves rather than sugar for the world market. And so a big debate took place about whether the aftermath of emancipation proved that slavery actually was a better economic institution than free labor. So certainly the main point is Amer Americans watched what happened in other countries, debated what happened in other countries, and were influenced by the ending of slavery in other countries.